Good morning and welcome to Resilient Talks in the Park number 52. This is number 52, which is week 52, which is one year. One year. We started September 23rd, 2018, and today is September 21st, 2019. 52 weeks of resilient talks in the park. God is so good and so great and so wonderful and so faithful and so mighty. It's been a whole year. We went through the fall, the winter, the spring, and the summer. And we are on the hills of coming into fall again in two more days. God has been so great. The total videos that we have is 176. Today makes 176 videos with Tuesday's Time of Empowerment, with, with Midweek Motivation, with Emerge, and all of the other special additions that we have added that God has inspired us to do. There is a total of 176 videos. So God is great. God is wonderful. It is important for us to be obedient to what God says. Because when we are obedient, we are able to see the overflow and the blessings of the Lord. And in the scripture text, the blessings of the Lord make it one rich and add no sorrow with it. There is no sorrow from the blessings of the Lord. So today for our Restoration Saturday, it is Restoration Saturday number 21. And we're going to continue to talk about the He Can Restore Even Me book. So today for He Can Restore Even Me, day 21, we're talking about He loves even me. He loves even me. No matter what I went through, no matter what mistakes I made, even though I strayed and went on another path, He has restored me and brought me back to Him. He loves me unconditionally. He loves me. He loves you. He loves us. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, that whosoever believeth in him shall not perish, but have everlasting life. Whosoever, whosoever means you, whosoever means them, whosoever means me, whosoever means anyone who will touch and agree with the Lord and believe that he's, he loved the world so much that he sent his only son. So believe in that is the way to salvation. Believing that is the way to deliverance. There is a path. There is a path and a process of healing that God will bring you through and take you through and do a mighty work in your life. But the first step is believing that for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, that whosoever believeth in him shall not perish, but have everlasting life. That unconditional love, that patient love, that kind love, that love that never fails. Even though we fail, that love never fails. God's love never fails. He loves us. It's important for us to know and believe that he loves us and that he has never given up on us. Even though we give up on ourselves, even though we make the wrong turn or go the wrong way, God still loves us and he restores us and he brings us back to him. He puts us back on the path. He is so good and so great and he will withhold no good thing from us. We just have to reach for him. We have to reach for him and seek him and believe him and trust him. And pour, it pour in his knowledge into us by seeking it, by seeking to know what God wants from us as his people. So, I have this box here, which is a gift box. And we, God is a gift to us. Another day is a gift to us. Jesus is a gift to us. And the God gives us gifts. He gives us gifts that are meant for us to share with the world. He gives us gifts that are meant for us to use, to use. So he has saved us for a purpose and a reason for us to use those gifts to bring glory unto him, to bring glory, honor, and praise to him. Our lives have a purpose, a mission, and a destiny to bring glory to him. How can your life bring glory to him? Your life can bring glory to him by being a light that shines for his glory. Your life can bring glory to him each and every day as you seek him, as you seek to know him, as you seek to love others because he loved you. As you just seek to be the best you can be, you can bring glory unto him. God loves even me. God loves even you. That is so comforting to know that he loves us so. He loves us so that he sent us Jesus, who is a comforter, who is a friend, 
who is a healer, who is a way maker, who is a teacher, who is everything that we need him to be. He's a doctor. He's a lawyer. He's a friend. He's everything. He's everything. He's a companion. He gives us guidance. He gives us direction. He gives us protection. There is no limit to what God can do. So, as I leave you for this year of Resilient Talks, as I leave you for from this Restoration Saturday, be blessed. Enjoy this day. Enjoy this day and just enjoy each and every day. Embrace every day that the Lord has given us because he has given it to us. Be sensitive to what God is telling you to do. Be sensitive to the, the signs that he's giving you, the things that he's telling you to do. Be sensitive to that because he loves even you and he can use even you. He can use you in a mighty way to bring glory to the kingdom of God, to bring glory unto his name. So pay attention to what God is telling you and be be obedient. The scripture text says that obedience is better than sacrifice. We will see the fruit and the wonderful works of the Lord when we obey what he tells us to do. That is why I stand here today giving him glory, honor, and praise for one year of resilient talks. One year of being committed to what he told me to do. And I see the fruit of what he told me to do because God is so great. So remain blessed. Remain resilient. Keep walking and talking with the Lord and remember that he can restore even me and he can restore even you. God bless you.